Everybody and welcome back to another episode of MHC November. Oh, hey, the sun did come out tomorrow. I didn't sing that song probably the last episode, but I was thinking it. So let me get a quick look at all my items. I want to start on... Oh, no, 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 no. I want to start on making... What are they called? The actual camp. So what I'm thinking of is... I've been thinking of making sort of a... Actually, that's a waste of my life. Let's do that. Um, boop, boop. And boop, boop. And boop, boop. And that leaves me with this much to do this. Alrighty then. Anything in here I want? Nope. Alright, so I'm I'm I've been thinking about what I want to do here and how I want this place to look. And I'm thinking I wanna make it sort of unimplied give me one moment. Drink some coffee. Uh, you might have heard the ice. It's iced coffee. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of making, like, a perimeter. Like, a known perimeter. Sort of like, if you guys have watched... Um, oh, hello there. If you guys have watched... Whoop. Uh, Doctor Who um, with... Matt Smith is that was that his name? In there and with Amy Pond and um, Rory, though I don't I don't remember he was in it in a very long time. Um, but there was an episode in which they encountered a Western village in. America back in the day and it was um, there was an implied perimeter that you couldn't cross and if you crossed it um, you were at risk of being murdered by um, the guy sort of guarding the area because he wanted to he wanted someone in particular because they killed his family or something or another I don't really remember it's been a while. It's been a while since episodes aired. But I sort of want to make one of those an implied um, barrier. A very organic looking barrier. I'm not really going to think about it. And, um, and this will be our perimeter. Like, this is where they can and cannot get out. Except we've escalated, you know? Um, I want this to be, like, in stages. Like, this has gone from... Us just quarantining the area, or us, like, um, whoever us is came out and was like, alright, we heard some things, um, we heard there are terrorists around here, we don't want to alarm anyone, um, and we just, you know, wanna, we're gonna pretend it's some, like, biohazard or something, and then it escalates to, alright, um, we need to make sure this place is closed off um make sure you do not cross here very you know humane civil to the point we are now um the uh, one of the last stages where we have now isolated them and are now attempting to still by peaceful measures however attempting to um weed out the is the terrorist terrorizing potential to terrorize the area. So that's what I'm doing here. This already existing sentence, sort of putting a dampering 
on my plan, but whatever. And you can see sometimes I'm laying out the farm, sometimes I'm not. Um, and it's because since farmers want to go out, I'm assuming that it's a farmer. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that I'm pretty sure the terrorist is a farmer. Let's see, where did I start this? over here, so let's go this way. I don't have enough. No, I do not have nearly enough. Oop. Almost, though. Let's see. Let's run back home. And so now everything's going to be very improvised. Everything is going to look very improvised and not the cleanest, but efficient. Like, it'll work. It'll, it does its job. This perimeter, not the prettiest thing. It was done in a rush because we didn't want anyone to leave the area. And, but we didn't want to, you know, um, pretend, we didn't want to make it seem like we were encroaching on their, um, civil rights. Although we are encroaching on their civil rights by n not allowing them to leave, but under probably some act, we can do this. So now that we have this perimeter here, um, we need to make sure nothing outside of this area has, has been kept up. We want it all to look very dead out here. Not all of it dead, but we want it to look dead. Boop, 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 boop. So it looks like it's not being kept. Let's see. Bam, bam. So we want this to look as humane as possible, but for them to be afraid. <laughs> Alright, and now I want to make like each of the houses cells, essentially. I don't want to make this seem prison-y. Um, I want it to be known, however, that this is a... Um, this is not a place of freedom, basically. Like, you are not the free... You're not free to do anything until we figure out what... where the terrorist is and when the threat has been neutralized. That's essentially my idea, so let's throw... Make it seem like a lot of sand is blown over. Okay, it's turning nighttime. Um, let's see, we want to take out all of the cacti inside. Is that a creeper blow up here or something? Or did that always look like that? I don't know. We actually, I want to get rid of this one. So that's my plan. Um, my initial plan was to make this to, to look make this look a little bit more like a con concentration camp, and um, for all intents and purposes, it still is. Um, I mean, they don't have any freedoms. They used to be able- I, I feel like this is the step after concentration camps. Like, I mean like, not like Holocaust, um, um, German concentration camps. I'm not talking about that kind of concentration camp. I'm talking more like Japanese American, um, back before and during World War II concentration camp. Where th we were still in America, but we, we were, you know, Essentially not allowing them to live their lives because we thought they could be spies. I say we, as if I was alive during that time. But I wanted to make it seem more like that. Alright, and let's throw a little bit of this over here. There we go. So that's, that's where I'm going with this. And that's what I essentially wanted to do, except now it's more... Does the thing go around it? Yeah, it does. 
Um, now it's more escalation from that. We need to, you know, find who this is immediately. Um, we're still not at through any cost, right? It's not at the point where we need to start neutralizing the entire area. But it's to the point where things have gotten bad. Oop. Oop. Do that. Alright. Let's throw one of these here. And now I'm just checking out the perimeter. So I could do a little bit more of this. So this has been a while. If we've escalated to this point, that means it's been a while. I still haven't changed my skin. My internet has been a potato lately. Like, I I spent the entire weekend starting on Friday attempting to use the internet and with no avail. Nothing worked out. And today, for the first time, today is Sunday. Um, today, for the first time, I've been able to like watch a YouTube video. That's how bad my internet was. And I'm reading like um, about all these places that... Are you going to get to me? Or are you going to figure out that there is... Nope. You're still going to chase me. Let's go this way. So you find out that villagers exist in this world. Nope. Do you why do you still want me? Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting him to um, figure out there, you know, villagers existed. Let's put this here. Let's see. Now, what do I want the rest of this to look like? The perimeter is outside of here, right? Yes. Let's make that a little bit more livable. Like I said, we don't want them dead. We don't want the villagers dead. We just want to figure out who the issue is. And to immediately, you know, deal with it. Um, this is my doing. Let's take that off. Alright, so... Now that we've... Now that we have done that... Wanted to look more like that... Scrap... No, not the wheat, the cactus. I see you. Also, we want to make sure... We want to have little watchtowers and such. Um, outside of the perimeter, looking in and out. These guys really do not want to pay attention to these villagers. Oh, you dropped your shovel. Thank you. I guess you weren't a total waste. So, I want to put one in the middle, and I want to... Let's see what other blocks we have available to us. I want to put one right where the well is, and I want to put a couple... outside of the area. Let's see how many... Ooh, that could have been bad. Let's see how many ladders we can make. So I just want to make a really, like, quick and messy, um, watchtower out here. Going to have a, a sand bottom. Mm, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. So we're gonna put that there. And then it's going to be... 
Let's just do cobblestone. Like I said, this is not going to be the prettiest thing, but it's going to be the thing that we can see. It's going to be large, imposing, um, standing out of the area. I wish I hadn't made all those those furnaces. A little bit taller so we can see. It'll it's gonna be like um I hate to use this reference, but it's gonna be the uh what is it called? The It's a reference to a book I do not enjoy. <laughs> I have expressed my dislike for this book a lot. Will I survive that drop if I make a mistake? I really wanted to make a bucket of water. I guess I'll just... Oh, well, that works. Let's just do this. Oh, so glad you're there. So glad you're there. Aerial attack! Um, let's head up here. I need more cobblestone. That's probably what I'll end up, what I'll finish doing. Let's throw all of the unnecessary junk in here. Um, we only need one stack of view. One stack of view. We don't need any of this. Any of this. We just want another pick. We need another pick and a bucket. A bucket of water. Let's run. How much time do we have? I don't know. I have a timer on. Hello there, little child. Oh, the sun is coming up. Is this it? This is it, right? Yep. Boop, 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 boop. Not looking for anything, I'm just looking for some cobblestone. I didn't have to run all the way down here. But I did. I have three minutes. I have time. I've got time. But yeah, that's my plan. That's what I finally decided. I had an initial idea of making it more like a concentration camp with large um with large long one story buildings. And, um, I even looked it up. I looked up pictures of what concentration camps, um, look like in the U.S. Because I didn't want to make it, like, Aus um, yeah, Auschwitz style. I didn't want to make that kind of concentration camp. Um, because we didn't want to kill them. And we didn't want them for any other purpose. For, um, for anything, for a genocide. We just wanted them for... I just wanted it that sort of style. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and now, I guess it's the same idea. We have just escalated it, escalated it a little bit. All right, we needed cobble the cobblestone. Well, I mean, we need that too, but we needed some coal. See, let's check how much time we have left. Two minutes? A minute and a half. I actually put my stopwatch on this time. My phone stopwatch. Maybe I should try a timer next time. But I have my phone on silent now. I get very aggravated <laughs> with um, the vibrate because I never have like the sound on. Because I get way too many texts and email and just messages in general and calls. Um to have the tone on all the time. So I usually have it on vibrate, but now the vibrate's starting to anger me also. It's starting I'm getting I'm getting frustrated. So I just I put it on silent and my life's been a lot more happy. Oh, and I found out today um that I won Miss Oh god, Lady Empire. I I feel so bad. I don't really know her channel name. I'll put it down in the in the link dump. It'll be one of the first links down there. But I subscribed to her channel, I feel like a week or so ago. Um, 
at I think it was OG OG Orasan. Um, I think he tweeted out that she was about to hit 500 subscribers, or she hit 500 subscribers, and I was like, you know what? I'm subscribing because I watched a couple of her videos, and they were really good. So I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch those, and I'm going to follow her. And then it turns out I never pay. I really need to start reading the titles of of videos because I had no idea it was like a competition until like the end of the video, and I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Saying me who already commented and like subscribed, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, I never win anything, so that's whatever. I hope someone good gets the the prize, which was Borderlands, the Game of the Year edition. And it turns out I won that, so thank you very, very much, Lady Empire. I think that was your, that's your name. Um, your channel name, at least. And so, um, thank you guys for watching. Go check her out, um, her link's down below. Maybe I'll start playing some Borderlands on the channel, who knows. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! 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 Bye!